Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to News from the Pews. I have uh, good news for everybody, and you may not be able to see it, of course, but there is actually a live audience <laughs> right here. Let's do the, that's the, woo! And now the, uh, now the, the laughing, uh, the laughing um, track. <laughs> Karen Martin is my distinguished guest today. We have just finished a uh, Bible study, and as a matter of fact, we finished the last word of Jesus from the cross, and to thy hands I commend my spirit. Uh, today, we are blessed to have Karen on our show, News from the Pews. You've been waiting for a long time, Karen. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a dream come true today. Uh, I know. I want to be like Mrs. Disser and say, as my shirt, I'll be back, but I haven't been here yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you will. But Jesus says he'll but, be back. And you will be back on News from the Pews. <laughs> Don't you worry, Karen. Now, um, you could call me Father Bob Ross right now because, uh, <laughs> but no, I didn't make this, so you couldn't. You're Miss Bob Ross because look at this beautiful painting. It's a happy painting. <laughs> I, um, I wanted to have Karen on here because I was very moved by her painting here of the Eucharist. And uh, Karen did this. You were entering a contest for the Eucharistic Revival, which of course you know that we're getting ready in July. We're going to have the 10th and or the 10th ever Eucharistic Congress since being held in Indianapolis. And we have from our two parishes here uh, a group going. Um, Karen is one of the one of the people, aren't you? Yes. It's going to be great. But Karen yeah. entered this contest, and the contest was simply to draw the Eucharist, wasn't it? Yes. In whatever way you want. Now, what's going on here, Karen? Okay. Tell us about okay. this painting. First of all, the painting is titled The Grace of the Lord. And what it is is we have the Holy Spirit, we have the crown of thorns, and we have the Eucharist in the middle. And... My Really, my daughter thought of this idea, and she just asked me to paint it. And I thought, well, what a great idea for the Eucharistic Congress. But the Holy Spirit is lifting up the Lord from the cross. Mm. And through that cross that God, uh, Jesus has bared, we have the living Eucharist, the host that we can take each weekend and every day, for that fact, to live through the uh, uh, Eucharist. And that's I, by the grace of the Lord. So I, I think that's beautiful. Cause you, and you can see on here, like you, you've done such a beautiful job painting the resurrection down here. I mean, so the Holy Spirit is, in a sense, as you just said, bringing our Lord, bringing our risen Lord to us. Yes. And it's through the sufferings of Jesus. And you may not be able to see from that angle, but, but Karen, has, there's a lot of blood here. There's a lot of red. And so there's the, it's, it's through the passion of our Lord, but, but we receive by means of the Holy Spirit, the living Jesus, the risen Jesus. And I like it too, because when I first saw it, I thought of the epiclesis at Mass, where the priest goes like this, and invoking the Holy Spirit over the gifts of bread and wine so that they can be transubstantiated into the body and blood of Jesus. And, and that's this moment where the, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the risen living, as you're saying, Jesus comes to us, and that's awesome. Yeah, and as you can see, there are rays of sun, of hope and love coming from the Eucharist that God has given us that hope and that love and that power to be risen by God. I, I like it too because they're like the rays of the sun, but it's the S-O-N. Rays of the sun. And one of the best things I ever heard about adoration is when we go to adoration and we, we, we visit Jesus in the chapel, that we will get a suntan an S-O-N tan, like we will absorb divinity. We will absorb Jesus and his rays of divine mercy just by being in front of him. And it's just like when you're on the beach, it doesn't matter if you're reading or sleeping or running or swimming or whatever, you're going to get a tan, you know? And it's the same way when we're in front of our Eucharistic Lord, like these rays coming out of Jesus in the Eucharist, 
we will absorb that. We will absorb him. Now, what's Absolutely. going on with this blue up here? Well, this is like the sky, the clouds, and the sun. And, uh, you know, he, he brings us out of darkness. And so it really should have been kind of flip-flop from darkness to sun. But uh, I wanted to show the sun being portrayed from the Holy uh, Spirit. You know what I thought but of it, though? But he does bring us out I of I was thinking, though, that it was actually baptism. Oh, well, I really did. Water. <laughs> well, we, we because, can make it water. If you want. <laughs> because the Holy Spirit is breathing. It's just like it says in Genesis: the Holy Spirit breathes over the waters and makes them the wellspring of all holiness. And here is the sacrament par excellence of holiness, and that this, the the waters of baptism. Are the, uh, the open the floodgates for all the sacramental graces that we receive. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. It. That's beautiful, Karen. But that's why it's called the grace of the Lord, because we get this all because God has been so graceful to us and given us that hope and that love that we can make it through all the storms and be risen with His love. The other piece that I, about the crown that I think is important. It, it, we talked about the suffering aspect of it, but it's also the crown of kingship. Jesus in the Eucharist um, is our king, you know, and, and that's why we have that tradition. We, we genuflect to Jesus in the same way that in the olden days they would always genuflect to kings. When you would go into the king's hall, you had to do it. And Jesus is the king of kings, the king of the whole universe. And he wears a crown, um, he, and, and even in the Blessed Sacrament, he is King of Kings. Yes. Especially in the Blessed Sacrament and of Kings. if I had thought about it, I later did, I would have made the little cross that's in the Eucharistic bread, I would have made that the blood, the red, showing that he is alive through the death. But that, that blood of Christ is actually in that Eucharist that we take in. I want to say one more thing. That this, this to me, you could think when we go to the chapel that the Holy Spirit is descending, is, is holding up that monstrance. Like the Holy Spirit has brought, is, is, bring, is, is there and is holding Jesus. Like in the same way, the, our monstrance is this and the Holy Spirit is like, here, he is for you. He is for you. And in the same way that when we go to communion, that the Holy Spirit is delivering Jesus into our souls, into our mouths or, or our hands first, but then into our souls, that the Holy Spirit's like flying by. Here you go. Here you go. It's so cool. He just makes a way of making the painting look beautiful. <laughs> no, but Karen, it really is. It but, really is. But thank you. I'm so excited, Karen. Uh, there is, Karen has painted several beautiful pictures that I have in my rectory and in my office as well. One yes. of St. Joseph. I love that St. Yes. Joseph and the Holy Family, the Blessed Mother. And, um, one and now, of him at St. Vincent. That's right. The in the From the All Souls Mass. Yes. Yeah, that was real yes. special. All right, Karen. Well, thank you very much. We will find a nice place for this painting. Well, thank you. Bless you. Thank you. God bless you all. We'll see you. She'll be back on News <laughs> from the Fuse. I'll Fuse. be back. <laughs>